Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Process enthusiasts, are you ready to optimize your workflow with Pipify? Get excited because we are diving into the basics of Pipify in this 2024 tutorial. Whether you are new to process management or seeking a more efficient way to handle your tasks, this video is perfect for you. So guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So first of all guys, I will need you to go ahead and open your browser. Right after that, go ahead into pipify.com right as you can see right in front of us. Now for us, as you can see, this is the platform or the AI and how it works. But to get a really deep look into it, we need to create an account. So click on start for free right through here and now we are going to start creating our account. So here I'm going to put my address and I will agree to the terms and conditions and then I'm going to put some information about the company right here. So here what's the name of your company, let's name it for example Titan LCD, continue and here we have to fulfill some information such as name, last name etc. So let's do that real quick, here I'm just going to fulfill these ones, um, here let's put the password and here I will put my number and I'll be right back to you guys so right after that I have uh, made everything here correctly so what department will you use by 54 for example let's say IT here well, how can Pipify help your team let's say uh, uh, IT asset management and here we are going to go to the next step so we simply have now to wait and the dashboard will be created now we simply have to verify our identity by going to the gmail or the inbox that we have uh, give to them and then click here to verify our account and it should be verified and as you can see this is the dashboard and this is how it looks like so here as you can see guys there is a couple of things that we have to notice here you have home you have here portals task and requests interfaces here on the other hand you will have members of your workspace here notifications help and your account or basically your uh, workspace which is here it is so here on the main page you will find pipes so a pipe here is basically um let's say for example let's get like uh, something customer help request management purchase process uh, let's uh, let's go with purchase process. So here here I'm going to use this template. So there we go, which is a template. And your pipe is almost ready. It seems to be taking so long. Click here. We simply have to wait right now. So a pipe. Uh, how can we call it exactly? It is basically dozens of uh, of tasks made in one place. So here, for example. We have here a lot of tables. Each table is for something. Each thing has its own stuff, and each thing has its own options and uh, things that goes with it. So for us, we would, I would really like to go uh, to the home page and try to create a new pipe from scratch. So start from scratch, so we can actually have our own project that is started from scratch, rather than going and trying to explain something from that has been already made from other people. So let's start from making something from scratch, which is going to be IT tutorial. So let's name it create pipe and here we go. So now we are here. So here I'm going to rename these uh, these tables that has been already made. So here, for example, uh, daily tasks and here doing and here done. So here I'm going to add some tasks, etc. So the first thing to add some tasks, simply click here. And as you can see, all the tasks people created in this pipe. So let's click here, for example, here daily tasks, this tasks are th for IT department only there we go here I'm going to click right here to add a card and this card is going to be basically the actual task so let's start creating and here the card I'm going to add here like a short text let's name it for example um, check for server updates and here I'm going to keep it as it is. Let's add something next to it, which is a checkbox. Let's add it within this box. So here, uh, choose the type horizontal checkbox, um, the vertical. Okay, done. The server uh, analyze. 
uh, so for example our updates shaker server analyze um, code or debug and update review after that save changes and there we go now we can go back here and I would like to have all of these things that I have added right here so I'm gonna add them something simply just like that uh, okay new card and this is the draft exactly so let's name it for example update uh, task one and here it is so now when someone from the IT department is actually going to check this table or this card is simply going to click on it and he will find every detail about this task what he should do what he has to do what stuff kind of daily task him he's expecting to do what kind of orders did I give him and etc and also here you can add here the due date so you can ha have the due date or the maximum date when person has to be assigning this task you can even add attachment make checklists comments and even attach some file such as PDF files or add emails so they can contact you and simply here you can assign people directly so you can search for people you can invite people to pipe which is basically your workspace or your projects and make them do the specific task that you have added right here once they are done with that they can simply move it for example here if they were doing it if they are done doing this task you can simply click on done and the task here means that it is done and they have successfully done it when uh, when they have uh, moved it right here so you can literally keep tracking with your employees from your desk without actually calling them or talking to them simply just by them moving these cards around here you will get an idea of what they have already made of course they can attach some screenshots and some approval things or files so you can actually have a real-time review as well so you can actually and so you can actually uh, make everything on track and do not miss anything from your employees at all and this is very important guys so you have to note that in your uh, in your PC or in your th in your memory that these things are basically private unless you invite anyone to them everything in here is actually gonna be private so you don't have to actually invite anything or to keep anything here scared of attaching files or anything like that everything here is simply gonna be private only for you and your team members so don't worry about it and yeah guys that was it for today's video if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to our channel thank you guys a lot if you want us to talk about more topics about pipefy make sure to leave your comment down below see you guys in the next tutorial